Okay, people, before we get started, I would appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to get notified. We drop new episodes of Forever News every Saturday, 12 p.m. EST, and throughout the week, we re-upload those segments from that episode into smaller videos, so that way it's more easier to digest and for your viewing pleasure. So I'd appreciate it if you would hit those buttons, subscribe, bell, and yeah, we do each other a service. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's get into it. This one in particular might make you a little bit worried I'm gonna be honest with you because while it's a story that maybe some of you are gonna be confused at first as to exactly why it relates to you trust me it's important because I was checking the news cycle this week and I came across a story that I didn't even realize was a story until I started digging a little bit deeper because there is an anime that just got announced for another season it's called the ancient magus bride and it's season two scheduled for April 2023 and again you're you're probably like Fenev. I've never even watched that series. I ain't hear of it. Maybe some of you have, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that are a little bit confused. Again, okay, what's the big deal? Well, the studio that is attached is Studio Kafka. And again, you're probably like, okay, who's Studio Kafka? What does that mean? What, what's going on here? Well, this title in particular, again, The Ancient Magus Bride, was originally done by a different studio. So when it got announced for another season, a lot of people were very excited and whatnot, and then they got faced with Studio Kafka as the anime production studio, and initially this was done by Studio Wit. Now, in case you don't know about Studio Wit, they've had some massive bangers come out of there for quite some time now, but but they've been in trouble recently for the last few years i've heard nothing but hey we got this that we lost we got that that we lost we're in debt because if i'm not mistaken two of the biggest titles that they've lost and i want to say they've lost another one or two don't quote me on that but they've lost attack on titan and that went to studio mappa and they lost vinland saga which also went to studio mappa i don't need to explain to you how massive attack on titan is and the fact that they lost that is a huge blow to the company and then on top of that villain saga another very big and popular title as well they lost it and then i heard a few years ago maybe even a year two at the most that they were 4.5 million dollars in debt which i don't need to explain to you that being millions of dollars in debt is not a good thing i remember studio wit when they first launched it was like a spin-off of production ig production ig very big studio they've done some very big titles and whatnot but i remember being like yo studio wit is it you know what i'm saying we got some massive stuff coming out of there and little by little they have been taking big l's millions of dollars lost they lost attack on titan they lost finland saga they're still trying to get by they got ranking of kings right now i would say that that's probably one of the biggest titles that they have alongside spy family but spy family is a joint collaboration with studio cloverworks so that's not exclusively their title and also the fact that they're doing co-production with another studio which is not a common thing usually they will have the title like an anime studio will have the title to a series and then maybe they'll you know let sub studios from different places handle the animation on certain episodes but it's always primarily hey it's studio mappa it's studio ufotable it's studio x y and z and to hear that they lost yet again another title the ancient magus bride um that's not good at all man i mean there's always some good and some bad like i said they've taken major l's we did hear last episode of forever news that there's possibility that they might be handling the dawn to dawn anime that's coming they recently followed the author of dawn to dawn over on twitter so it kind of looked like a good sign but again at what cost because it is a little to a certain degree of an adjustment moving from studio to studio with anime. I think it's gotten better, especially as of recent, like the transition from Attack on Titan being with Studio Wit to Studio Mappa. While it hasn't been flawless and there's definitely been complaints, for the most part, it wasn't jarring. It wasn't like, oh, geez, I can't even get into this. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't that horrible, but still, I don't like getting into an anime and then, you know, hey, the next season, you gotta worry. I mean, look what happened with One Punch Man from season one to two, going from Madhouse to Studio Was a shaft if i'm not mistaken it was a massive difference in terms of the quality of animation so while i'm not necessarily the most familiar with the ancient magus bride ultimately this is a sign that 
is it a bad thing at this point for something to go to studio with exclusively because if we're gonna keep on having cases of hey they have it then next season or the season after that they don't that's gonna make me worry some of like yo what happens when it doesn't get pulled off properly what happens when studio mappa aren't the ones to come and rescue the ip what happens then you know what i'm saying like is the ancient magus bride season two by studio kafka gonna be able to live up to the quality of art and animation that a studio wit can provide it makes me worry i mean granted there is a silver lining in all of this and you're probably gonna say well what silver lining dog they're 4.5 million in the hole they've lost three titles big titles at that what could be the silver lining and i'll be honest the silver lining isn't necessarily to do with studio wit but this change in the anime industry where anime has gotten so much more popular now that it's a viable option to allow other studios to essentially rescue ips for season twos and threes it gives hope for some other stuff that maybe we're not necessarily fond of the studio attached that who knows maybe if there's trouble in paradise other studios could come and rescue it and i'm just saying i don't want to point any elbows but tokyo ghoul you know what i'm saying studio piro aside from like boruto and the newfound bleach styles in your blood war anime what is really going on over there i'm just saying you know maybe even boruto no that, that's never gonna happen it makes too much money but the point being is that there's a possibility now that when trouble is in paradise some studios might be able to give up the license to certain titles and we could see you know a new tokyo ghoul anime a lot of fans of tokyo ghoul have been screaming for years upon years upon years hey dog what's going on man we want another tokyo ghoul anime a remake please like they didn't do a great job with the adaptation season two was abysmal and the re-anime was a whole other animal in and of itself so there's a silver lining there because back in the day it would usually be like for example with studio madhouse it would get a season one and then if madhouse didn't want to do anything well they're madhouse they got money they don't care they're just gonna hold on to the license and keep selling merch and that's about it so now in this new age where anime is so popular that it could still see potentially a profit going to a different studio now we could probably be talking about some of those lost titles that we always wanted either a remake or another season that is a viable option which years ago it would be madhouse did season one and that's it you're never getting any more of it so there's a little silver lining here but it is unfortunate that studio wit is definitely struggling it's very apparent they got some titles they're trying to make their way through and i'm thinking that dawn the dawn will be a big one for them that could make them some money but again if dawn the dawn doesn't make the threshold or meet the threshold that they're looking for what happens and that's all assuming that they even got the title to begin with ranking of kings could it be a possibility when season two rolls around that we're not going to be with studio wit and again what happens when these titles go to a studio that aren't the best at production quality and we go from like what studio wit can produce at times a 9 to a 10 out of 10 to a 7 out of 10 a one punch man season one to two type of situation what happens then sway so i hate to be the bearer of bad news but stuff like this is a good and a bad other titles from different studios that maybe the first season wasn't great and we want to remake from the ground up hey if they're not doing that well and now that this is becoming more of a thing we could see remakes and stuff like that but yeah studio wood is struggling and despite the fact that spy family is doing very well got to keep in mind that they're doing co-production with cloverworks so they're probably getting a 50 50 split and that's not going to save them so we'll see what happens but studio wit definitely in troubled waters so to speak and it's a shame because studio wit does so much amazing jobs with their adaptations and it's not looking bueno mates i have a dream alone in my room as i sit with the tea couldn't possibly think what i often see and you don't even know how i often blink lights be flashing and looking at me such an odd unique yet i'm so unique and you're looking at me if the wolves could talk they would probably read me and i'd probably say bitch get the fuck off me